This is a study that has put public transport in London under the microscope and the tube has come out as the filthiest way to get around London above all the rest with buses coming out the cleanest. Now this is a London Metropolitan University study and I'll just give you some of the top line figures that have come out of this. So first of all there's 121 bacteria have been found across all of the different public transport networks. That's including nine of the so-called superbugs, which are the world's most threatening to human life. On the underground, they found traces of E. coli and fecal bacteria. And when it comes to the dirtiest line, and yes, it runs through King's Cross, it's the Victoria line with 22 living bacteria found on that one. But also going through King's Cross is the Metropolitan line, and that was the cleanest out of all of them. So if that's your commuter route, that's good for you. Now, um, I, earlier I spoke to Paul Matwele, Dr. Paul Matwele from the university about his studies and what he found as the most shocking findings. I think the main worry is the number of bacteria that were there. Although they are class, classified as class 2, in essence some of them are called superbugs because they've become resistant to a lot of antibiotics. And in particular those that are the fecal bacteria were really it, it, it was worrying to find so many of them in such high numbers. The most shocking thing was finding the fecal bacteria which um, you would have thought that something would have been done about it. I know they say they do something about it, but I'm not sure if they evaluate how effective the methods are in trying to reduce the numbers of those types of bacteria. I think they should consider trying to reduce the bacterial numbers um, so that um, you reduce the chances of infection because the greater the number of bacteria you have, the greater the risk of a threshold of infection. People who have um, a, 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 a compromised immune system, those are the ones who probably are likely to be at risk, but I'd also be concerned about people who are visiting someone, let's say, in hospital, who might be vulnerable to an infection, in that they may transmit some of these bacteria, which have got um, genes that are resistant to antibiotics, and if the person is being treated for antibiotics, they might find those antibiotics no longer effective. In reaction to this, TfL have said that the travellers have nothing to worry about when making their way around on the network. They say that when it comes to their tube carriages, that the carriages are cleaned every single evening. But a freedom of information inquiry from the study found that seven lines on the network never clean their seats. Anthony, I'll leave that one with you.